Hi, my name is Liane Simard. Um, I made a film, Il était six fois, called Once Upon Six Time. I produced the film, I wrote the film, and I directed the film. And it took me, it took me uh, 10 years to finish this film. So I hope uh, it, you're gonna enjoy it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So thank you. I'm uh, Arnaud Simarchabot, I'm now 17 years old. And uh, I'm the principal character of uh, my mother, Liane Simard, uh, documentary, uh, incredible documentary called uh, Il était six, six fois, in English, uh, once upon six times. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this interview. To document this experience. <laughs> um, at the beginning, where Ar when Arnaud was six years old, uh, we decided, his father and me, to uh, put him in an alternative school, in alternative, we call it alternative, we call it in French, and uh, we decided to do it, and uh, uh, like, I, like, like, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> His father and I? His father and I, yeah. Uh, we decided to put in that school, in alternative school. And in that kind of school, we have to be involved in the processes, process of your child. And uh, you have to do different things, you know, uh, committee with other parents or to be on the, to, on the, in the field with the child. <laughs> <laughs> or in the classroom? In the classroom, yeah. And by myself, I decided to be with the kids because uh, I don't want to be with the adults and the different committee, you know, boring things. So <laughs> I prefer to be with the kids in the field. So uh, I made a movie for uh, 10 years ago, no, 15 years ago, no? Yeah, more than years. Yeah. And uh, I work in, uh, in TV uh, for TV industry. And I said, why not to do, to make a documentary? Why not? So naive, I was naive. And, <laughs> and in 1985, I saw a movie called Anna 618, Anna 618. And a Rus, a Russian, Russian, Rus, how do you Russian. say? Russian uh, director, um, Mialka Mikalkov. And he filmed his daughter from 6 to 18, 18 years old and I remember that film touched me really really uh, a deeply a lot yeah <laughs> and because I was touched to see a little girl growing and growing to become a teenager and almost an adult and uh, I remember I was touched because in short time two two hours you can see all these years and you can, you can see this little girl to become an adult. So I said to myself, why do not to do not the same thing? You know, I'm gonna be filming the kids from six to twelve, all the elementary school. Oh wow, good idea! <laughs> <laughs> so I started with this idea, and I talked with Sylvie, a teacher in that school. And I talked with her, uh, uh, looking for a subject, you know. And in that kind of school, they teach value, different value. Uh, to be open mind, creativity, uh, autonomy, and what the first word? Collaboration. Collaboration, yeah. <laughs> and and they, uh, they note this at the, how do you say that, at the bulletin? In, in the, the report, report card. card. Report card, yeah. Right. They note it in the report card, 80%. They grade, grade it. it. They grade, grade it in the open uh, car. In the car. Report, report, report card. card. Thank you. Yeah. And and I, she said, "Why you do not? You, you why don't you don't you film the kids from the beginning and how they integrate the value? You can see how they integrate the value." Because at the beginning, they know the definition. Oh, open mind is uh, to be uh, okay with the others, accept the idea of other people, or creativity is the, to do different things, uh, you know, creativity things. And, but all the kids involved in the values. Evolved. Involved? Evolved. Evolved? Yeah. Evolved. Yeah. Oh, evolved, thanks. <laughs> evolved in the value. And you can catch it in your movie. 
I said, ah, it's a good idea. And I start like that. And, okay, I'd like to be in the school with my child. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take away from this film. Yeah, I talked about the, the roots. And I hope people who see my film, going to see my film, I hope they're going to they're going to have a reflection, a refle a reflection yeah, about their own roots. Where I'm from? Who am I? Uh, who, my, uh, why my grandmother did that? Or what she gave me about this action, you know? So I, I hope so the people going to have the, um, the reflection. You can help your child to be what he has to be, his own personality, you know, not to put someone in a box. Because sometimes people like that kind of box and they want to put their child in that kind of box, but it is not your box, it's my box. So I would like the people think about it, you know, there is so many boxes. <laughs> you, can, you can put, you can't put your child in the box you choose. He, 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 he find, he's gonna find his own box and maybe he's gonna build it. <laughs> maybe maybe his box doesn't exist yet, you know? Like she did. Like <laughs> I did, yeah, of course. Because you can see this their child in this movie so young becomes a teenager. Okay, it's it's a story, but they gave us who they are. We we keep it in the film and they they tell they, we, they tell us do what you are because i i did it you know and i hope the the the, the, the kids going to be inspired by that and the parents too you you don't have to put your child in an alternative school to do this <laughs> no you can do this every day in your own home in the school okay but in your work you, you, I hope the people are going to be free to be what they are, li uh, liberty, you know, and uh, it's a kind of hope of liberty. Uh, can, can, can I say that? Hope of liberty? Yeah. yeah? And you, what do you think the film is uh, going to be inspired? Well, I think it's going to inspire people to really follow their values because, you know, you talked about uh, making your box or mm -hmm. going into another box mm -hmm. uh, of your either than your parents so uh, when you follow your values you can follow your path and find your box to be in so I think that's that's the message mm -hmm. and the box can change you can choose a box and 10 years after you want it can change mm -hmm. for another box but if you keep your your values at heart I mean the the path can always be be seen and be right because uh we've seen a lot of people uh, not fo not follow their values and end up uh, not in the place they should be and mm -hmm. they're not happy so mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean mm -hmm. it's not it's not better for them to to just follow us the society and uh, how the society tells you to to to, to follow one path and mm -hmm. only this uh, i don't know uh uh, attorney path, <laughs> the, the medicine path, and then you end up uh, working 80 hours a week and, uh, you know, you, you want to commit suicide. <laughs> of course. I mean, it's a, Why? an extreme extent, but mm -hmm. it's, it's that mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. So, when you tr fo truly follow your values, it, it, goes, it goes beyond the society and what it asks and what it demands. Yeah easy in the movie to see a kid you know oh they're cute or they're their friend and we are open at at kid uh, at the kids because they are oh there is different i like it but i hope this film help people to think differently for adults too is different than me and he's cute too <laughs> it, it, either it's not a kid you know so that's why i want yeah. to say I agree. I agree. Go, going beyond the, the, the kids' uh, naive, uh, naive uh, characteristics, you know, <laughs> they, they're not just kids and kids uh, speak the truth and uh, mm -hmm. 
the listeners should should comprehend that. Like, thank you. Great. <laughs> <laughs> On pourrait se faire un petit uh, câlin. Mm. Pour faire des... <laughs> thank you. Merci Arnaud. Merci à toi. Merci.